everyone. Uh, my name is Wojtek, uh, and I wanted to share with you a short story about my experience with the new Kotlin multi-platform projects in Kotlin 1.3. So when we come to these conferences, talk about Android, talk about running Kotlin on Android for making Android apps, what we really um, mean is Kotlin JVM. Um, that's the Kotlin that we know that gets compiled to Java byte code, and then you know, we can transform it into DEX files, run it on Android, but it can also run on cloud servers, on our desktops, and so on. Now, there are two more flavors of Kotlin, actually, or compilation targets. Uh, first one, Kotlin.js, uh, for running uh, JavaScript in a web browser environment, or even something like Cloud Functions or Node.js. And then there's Kotlin Native, which compiles down to machine code in you know, native libraries that can run or target various platforms, such as iOS, desktop apps, even WebAssembly, and even Android. So how do we actually get started with this? So Kotlin 1.3 introduces a new project structure and a new plugin that's called Kotlin Multiplatform. And if you apply that to any of your modules, you can then um, select from a, preset, um, from a set of presets to target any of these platforms. So here, for example, I'm targeting an Android library and a JS target. Now, when you add these to your module, um, it automatically creates source sets for each of these platform-specific Kotlin files. So if you put your Kotlin files in the JS main folder, they will get Com compiled or transpiled to JavaScript files. Now, what do I mean by Kotlin specific, um, uh, sorry, platform specific Kotlin? Now, if you go and browse the documentation, the reference pages for each of the Kotlin packages, and you mouse over um, any of them, in the top right, you will see these multicolored chips that tell you which compilation target this library is available on. So here, on, for example, the Kotlin browser package uh, that lets you access interfaces for document and window from the web browser environment probably only makes sense on a JS target, and that's, that's um, uh, how it is. Now, fortunately, many, many of the core libraries and functions are available across all the compilation targets. In fact, you can see a fourth one, um, Kotlin Common, which means this is a pure Kotlin library that can run uh, independent of any platform that's um, targeting. Um, and in fact, if you add a multi-platform plugin to your project, uh, along with the platform-specific source set, you also get a common source set where you can put platform-independent code. Now, the thing about platform-independent code is it cannot call any of the platform APIs. It cannot call any of the JS-specific or Android-specific um, APIs. The other way, of course, works. You can have your platform-specific code from any of the flavors depend on a shared common library or source set. So knowing all that, I set out to write an example app just to learn about Kotlin multi-platform, and I decided to make a small Sudoku game. Um, now, one thing I have to say about Kotlin multi-platform is it's not a toolkit that lets you write an app once and run it everywhere. I still need to create an Android app with Android-specific code, just like I normally would, and then a web page uh, with some JavaScript code just to like, initialize things like entry points to my app, lifecycle UI, and so on. But then what I do is all my shared business logic, so in my case, it's the Sudoku engine that solves and generates Sudoku boards for me. Um, I take it out and put it in a shared library using Kotlin Common. And in fact, um, the only source set I have in this uh, library is Common Main. So I put all my code there. And that means it's available across all the platforms that I choose to target. OK, but then I thought, uh, OK, I have this core engine for solving my Sudoku code. But I would also like to draw the board on the screen. And uh, why code it for each platform separately if it should look the same on, on each of them? So I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I had an API for drawing on the screen that's completely platform independent, something like a multi-platform canvas? But then what I want to do is I want to actually um, have it delegate to each of the platform's impl implementations. So I want to use the Android canvas to draw on Android, while um, I use the HTML canvas to draw on a website. The thing is, I just told you that Kotlin common code cannot call any platform interfaces. Uh, so I can't really depend on these and export them from, from this module. So how does it, uh, does it work in Kotlin? Well, there's this, this expect an actual mechanism that lets you declare expected classes in your common code, which is something like almost like defining an interface in Java. And then in each of my platform-specific um, uh, source sets, I provide the actual implementation that can depend and use platform APIs, such as uh, the Android Canvas. Now, when I add that dependency from my common source set to the other one, it looks something like this. Um, but actually, when compiling for a specific platform, such as JS, 
um, this dependence, dependency will actually use the correct HTML5 canvas. <laughs> OK, if I could just show the link to the project so that everyone can um, look at it, that would be great. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs>